I, uh, I had an interesting thing happen last week. Somebody came into the office and um, actually called us up in advance. This was kind of cool. It's a, it's a couple who are in their mid to late 80s and wanted to learn how to use their computer. So they had gone to a, a superstore and they bought a laptop and it had Windows Vista on it out of the box. And they were doing everything they could and getting as much help from family and stuff as they could, but they were just going absolutely berserk with trying to learn how this system works. They just couldn't get it to, to do what they wanted and just were getting completely frustrated with it and fed up. And uh, so they called, called me up and said, is there anything that you can do to s sort of simplify the, the system, make it easier to use? And I said, well, sure, bring it in. We'll take a look. So they brought in this laptop and the printer and everything like that. And I put it up on the bench. This is a couple days later. And, and put it up on the bench and fired it up. Sure enough, Vista comes up, and there are just pop-ups right out of the box. As soon as you fire it on, there's, there's pop-ups. There's HP product information popping up, HP updates, and all this yeah. other stuff that came with the laptop and just all this junk and uh, just would have driven anyone nuts, let alone somebody who is not of the computing generation who wants to learn computers. It just was absolutely absurd. So what I did, here's the interesting thing, is I wiped that system out completely. They didn't need any of the files because they hadn't gotten that far yet and um, put Ubuntu Linux on that system. So I installed Ubuntu. I installed AWN uh, DocBar, the Avant Window Navigator. And on the Avant Window Navigator, I just put really simple icons. I put Firefox, and I renamed it Internet. I put Thunderbird, and I renamed it Email. And I set this all up for them, and then brought them into the office and said, OK, here, it's ready for you. Um, and we sat down for about a two-hour training session. And when it was all done, when it's all said and done, so here we are with uh, like 85, 86-year-old couple that just went through a two-hour training session on Linux. And the gentleman looked at me and he said, this is so much easier. Yeah. Like, Isn't that telling? Use, it's completely backwards mm. from what the advertisements mm. are trying to tell mm -hmm. uh, people in general. Here, here's this couple, the, you know, 84, 85, 86 yeah, years it. old, and they're running Linux, and they've got everything set up the way that they want. It's nice and easy. There's mm. no pop-ups. There's no viruses, yeah. and it just works. They turn it on. It does what they want. And better yet, you plug in the printer, and it just works. Mm. No having to find the installer disk. No having to worry about, you know, where you plug it in or anything like that. It just mm. works right out of the box. And that goes for everything that we, that we set up for them. So just an interesting, you know, that's something that happened in my week, but I thought, as far as relevance to the show, I thought it was really interesting that that is so backwards from what the marketing and advertising wants you to believe. So if you're, you know, if you know somebody who's potentially interested in getting into computing um, and isn't sure, you know, where to start, I think the Linux is, is definitely a good place to start. It's nice that, uh, that it's so much easier to, you know, if it's configured correctly, if it's set up for somebody in such a way that, um, that it's easy to access what they need to do. Because somebody, you know, somebody like that doesn't know, okay, click on Firefox and then go to www.gmail.com and then log into your email and things. So uh, avoiding all that, you know, if, if we as a community, if, if we as, as computer, more computer savvy people can say, you know, okay, well, here, let me help you with that. Let me set it up in such a way that it's easier to use. Then I think it's really interesting that this couple said, you know, this is so much easier referring to Windows Vista. And I really believe that they're going to they're going to give it a go. So I think that's really awesome.